Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great Friday. The week is finally done. We got the weekend coming up ahead, so that's always good news there. So thank you so much for coming in to watch this video. And we're going to talk about um, one of the miners, see how they did today along with Bitcoin really quick. We're going to spend a lot of time on that. We'll also take a look at Moss's production update for October. They just released that today. So I got my spreadsheet updated with that. That's going to be quick as well. And then we're just going to take a look at the market share comparison to the hash rate that they have right now for all the companies to see which ones are getting more basically value per peta hash and along with Bitcoin that they mined. So we'll do all those metrics. There's about six metrics in there. We grade them on that. And then we see which ones are overvalued or undervalued based on that. Okay. So it should be a pretty fast video here today. As always, not financial advice for entertainment only. Please do your own risk research and invest in the following coins and companies for full disclosure as always. And as always, if you guys enjoy this type of content, hit the like button, subscribe. Helps me out tremendously. And you may notice that I'm kind of sounding a little stuffy. Allergies or something. My nose is running a little bit here. So we'll try to get through this as best as we can. All right, let's take a look at what's going on here with the, uh, well, Bitcoin and miners first. So Bitcoin, obviously, this week is down for the week. We've had four weeks where we've been up. Uh, so we need a little bit of a break. We need a little bit of a pullback, which is healthy, I think, going forward. But overall, this, I mean, we're down, we were actually up today uh, on the day. You can see here that we're up approximately, what is that, 1.3%. We're down, down a little bit, which is fine. And then the miners were a little bit mixed, but overall, they were kind of, average today. They were up 2-3%, somewhere down to 3%, 1%. Uh, Argo was only down 7.44% was the big one here that was down today. Other than that, everybody else was kind of just mixed a little bit. Not a huge day for anybody in particular, or not a really bad day for anybody as well. Okay, we'll keep, a, keep an eye on this as well. We obviously heard that the SEC has not approved any spot Bitcoin ETFs as well. We kind of figured that was going to happen, right? We had this eight-day window where they had a chance to possibly uh, approve some but Bitcoin ETFs, that didn't happen, which is fine. We can't expect that. We'll see if we get it still this year or if we get it early next year or if we get it at all, right? So you never know with Gensler. Okay, let's take a look at uh, Moss in here. And I got to sneeze here really quick. So forgive me, I'm going to put the mute on. Okay, I'm back. Uh, so let's see here. So here's Moss in. Moss Infrastructure Group Inc. announces monthly operational update for October 2023. And here's what we have for them. So total monthly revenue equivalent of 110 Bitcoins or about 3.28 million. This is for everything. So this is for self-mining, revenue generated from electricity uh, services and for hosting as well. They have commenced uh, new co-location services uh, customer deployment with a total planned deployment of 15,876 miners upon the completion of the deployment. 1.83 million of self-mining revenue. So I have that at about 61 Bitcoin is what they mined actually for themselves. And then they have 1.36 million energy management revenue as well. And obviously the commencement of the co-location is going to bring in more. They only generated like 80,000 for that uh, in October. So November, I think they should have that all pretty much installed here. They did report somewhere down here that they had um, like 16,000 something miners. Can't remember exactly where it was at, but they reported that. So that's kind of what we have our numbers based on that. So if we take a look at it, here for Mawson. Mawson has right now 16.6 .6 million shares outstanding. Stock price is at 52 cents. Their market cap is at 8.6 million. Based on this, they are kind of being priced as they're going out of business right now. Uh, there is some debt there. There, I mean, we'll have to take a look at it, but we'll look at the numbers here and then we'll kind of comment on it all. Uh, but basically, they're, over the last 12 weeks, hasn't been great. They're up from 12 weeks ago by 10%. From eight weeks ago, they're down 15.4. From four weeks ago, they're down another 16.7. And then last week, they were down 20%. Um, so definitely not a good performance there. Current hash rate is about 1.49 or so exahash on that. Future hash rate is supposed to be about 1.7, 1.8, roughly based on what we do have on them. And then you can see their BTC production here. Uh, they had pretty good production here in August and September where they reached 88 and 89, respectively. And then obviously this month in October, which is kind of surprising, they were down to 61.91 Bitcoin only. Based on my math here, it's, it's an estimated number. It's not an exact number because they don't provide the exact number. I wish they did. It would make it a lot easier for myself and obviously for you guys to know what's going on there. Okay, uh, We know that they don't hodl anything here. Monthly difference for month over month as far as how much Bitcoin they had mined. So they were down 27 Bitcoin from the prior month of September. Their BTC per exa hash efficiency was increasing as their uh, Bitcoin mine was also increasing in August and September. And then we were down, obviously, to 41 BTC per exahash in October. BTC sold. They sold everything here. 
We did increase their hash rate by a little bit here in October to about 14.9, roughly based on the number of miners that they said that they have installed. Um, so that went up a little bit here, but not much. Otherwise, they've been pretty pretty much stuck at 1.46, 1.5 exa hash or so. Okay, the value of revenue here it was going up in August. August was their best month, 2.45 million just for their soft mining. And then it has been coming down, obviously, since uh, September and October. And when we look at the hash rate, Difference, we installed about 28 petahash or so in the month of October. And then we have BTC sole value. They sell everything that they mine, so it's not a big deal there. You can see their last four quarters revenue has been going up uh, based on the numbers that we are seeing here. So they should be up a little bit here if they continue to, to operate the way that they are right now. Uh, but we'll see. Okay. And then when we actually look at their costs here or their assets, you can see their total current assets are at 13.65 million as of Q3. Total current liabilities is at 46, so that's a concern there. That's why they're priced the way that they are right now, okay? I did not get institutions or analysts updates on this. I will get this uh, later on tonight, if not tomorrow, and that way the Patreon members will have that updated as well, okay? Um, looking down here, we'll see what they were actually operating here. In October, they were operating for about 19.7 days based on the number of miners they reported of having and getting the revenue of 1.83 million uh, for that month. So that's kind of where we're standing right now. So it's definitely down from September numbers where they were at about 27 um, days per, sorry, 27 days in operation on that month, okay? Based on all this, we know that they are definitely uh, in debt here. So I have them at $3.36 and $5.04 right now based on the current quarter that we're in, and then looking obviously back to three prior quarters, which are actual numbers right now. Uh, but I think that might be even high for them right now, uh, based on what they're operating like, their their current cash position and debt position as well. That's definitely dragging them down here. So we'll see. I, if they didn't have the debt, I think this is where they would probably be pretty well priced at $3.36 to $5.04. Okay. Uh, looking forward, we can see that the price is actually down here. So we're looking at the five months prior to the having event at 100% being uh, equated there and then after the having event with the seven months at 50 percent we're looking at three dollars and 17 cents to four dollars and 75 cents for them possibly without the debt right but they got the debt that's why they are lower where they are all right let me know if you guys are investing in them um i know there isn't a lot of commentary here in the chat here about them or also in the discord channel that we have the private channel that we have there and there's not much commentary there so it doesn't look like there's a lot of interest in them at least in this group uh, that we have here that discuss it and things like that um uh, so let me know if you guys are invested in them. What do you guys think of them? And we'll leave it at that, okay? So if we look at, uh, let me see here, where was it? I gotta go back here to market cap metrics. Okay, so on this uh, metrics here, what we're looking at is their current market cap, right? Which is the latest one as of today. That we're using the shares also that they reported on their Q3 numbers and things like that. So we're getting the market cap for that. And then we're looking at their for this first chart, we're looking at the hash rate. So what is their current hash rate? That's the numbers here in the white and the numbers here in, um, I guess you could say dark red or wine red or something like that are the division of that. So what's their hash rate divided by the, or market cap divided by the hash rate or other way around, whichever way you do it. Um, that's kind of the numbers that we're getting there. And then we can see here that any miners that are below uh, or the dark red is below the light red. That tells us that it's over undervalued. The ones that are above this, that are bluer, uh, have the blue bars, those show us that they are possibly overvalued based on this, right? And here's an example of it. So we can see here that CleanSpark really quick is at 60,000 per petahash roughly, right? Whereas you can see they're at 10x a hash. And then you got somebody like BitDigital that's at 2x a hash. And they're being valued at 97,000 per petahash. Or you could take a look at uh, even Riot here is overvalued, right? They're getting 184,000 per petahash. Same thing with Hut 8. They're at 2.6 exahash and they're getting priced at 162,000 per petahash. Yes, you could uh, include HODL in that, but we'll take HODL out here in the next chart. You can see how that's still uh, kind of skewed a little bit here. And excuse me, I gotta blow my nose. Um, okay, so. Based on this, we can see that CleanSpark Core, Stronghold, Marathon, Iris, BitFarms, TerraWolf, slightly, um, they might be just on break even there. Sphere, a bit dear, and Argo would be undervalued based on this, okay? 
now we t- now when we take the market cap and uh, reduce the huddle position that they have, so we know what they reported in October as far as what their huddle is, and we're using the current Bitcoin price for it as well. And we're subtracting that from the market cap, and then we're dividing that by the hash rate, and these are the figures that we're getting here. So now CleanSpark comes in at 51,000 per petahash, and if you look at like Riot, Riot is still getting 161,000 per petahash. It is a decrease from the 184 that they were getting before, but still way up there, right? So you can see an uneven or unjust uh, difference between those two, right? Now when you look at HUT8, HUT8, because they have such a huge huddle position, they went from 162,000 per uh, petahash down to 36, right? Which is a little bit better where they should be really valued based on this. But I believe the huddle position is helping those guys out there. But you can still see that bit digital, right? Two, uh, 2x a hash, they're getting 88,000 per uh, petahash. Whereas like uh, CleanSpark uh, is pretty low. Iris is also pretty low. BitFarms is lower than that, right? Even though they have a higher hash rate. So not all things are equal here. So this is how those sta- uh, stacked up. Then we take the market cap divided by future hash rates. We're looking into the future when they are fully installed. You can see that the following ones are undervalued. CleanSpark, Core, Stronghold, Marathon. Uh, Marathon is pretty close right now for future hash rate being valued. Uh, if you look at it, they're right at that uh, brim there, I guess you'd say. Iris is also pretty close there. And then you got BitFarms is actually overvalued based on this. TerraWolf is just slightly undervalued here. And then everybody else here is overvalued based on the numbers. Okay, so we give those guys basically a one. The ones that are undervalued, we get in, we give them a negative one score. Okay. Now we're over here. We're looking at the Bitcoin price right now, uh, compared to their uh, Bitcoins that were mined in October. So you got 633 for CleanSpark Core, 910, and we're doing that based on what they're being valued for the Bitcoins that they mined, basically. Okay. So we're taking the current Bitcoin price, dividing it by the number of shares or number of Bitcoins mined, excuse me. And we're getting the 16.46K for CleanSpark. That's what they're getting basically valued on the Bitcoin generated. Core is at 6,000. Uh, Stronghold is less than, um, less than, what is that? Uh, right, let me see here. 16, no, it's 16. Would that be 16? Oh, jeez. I think that's going to be 633 times 16,000. That's not going to be where the market cap is at for those. Or, or just looking at the Bitcoin price. Uh, let me check this. I got to make sure. I don't want to get confused on this. I got too many numbers here. So if we take 633 times 16.46, we get only 1,016. Oh, I did do that wrong. 16,460. We get... 10 million, yeah, so that's going to be 16 million, basically. Uh, 16.46K, add a couple zeros to one, two, three. Yeah, it should be 16 million, uh, what they're getting basically for. No, that's not right. If the market cap, hold on, I got to look at this. Uh, Let's see where we at here. I want to get this BTC production, okay. And then the other one was price here, BTC market cap. Where was this market cap uh, BTC? There we go. Clean Spark was 915. Where are we getting that at? 16.46k. So if we use look at 16.46k. Oh, there we go. Okay. So it's this metric here. So what is this one? Okay, we're looking at the market cap. Okay, market cap divided by the current uh, Bitcoin price. We're getting 16.46 thousand per Bitcoin is what they're getting uh, valued at. Okay. So that's kind of the way things should be. Okay, Core obviously is at six thousand for them. Yeah, uh, Marathon's getting basically sixty point nine thousand per Bitcoin uh, generated. Iris is getting five thousand. Bitfarm's eight thousand. So you're seeing all of these guys here that are undervalued based on the amount that they're generating just on the Bitcoin itself. Okay, so those are getting a score of negative one. Then when we look at the market cap divided by BTC mine generated, so. Uh, white numbers equals BTC mined. So these are the Bitcoin mines. And then we're looking at the market cap and they're getting valued at basically a million per Bitcoin uh, gen- mined in that way. Based on the market cap, we're not looking at the price of Bitcoin. Now we're just looking at the straight uh, market cap for the, each company. And then you can see Core is getting at only a quarter million. Stronghold less than uh, about, what is that? 160,000 per Bitcoin mined. Marathon's getting at 1.88 million. Uh, you can see right here is getting 4.73 million. Hot 8 is getting 3.76 million. So you can see the difference on how 
that all shapes up, right? HUD only mined 112 Bitcoin here. So you can see how all of these guys stacked up. And then market cap minus HODL divided by BTC mine. So now we're taking out the HODL position here in the market cap and calculating that as well. And let me blow my nose here again. I apologize for having to blow my nose. It's just the allergies are killing me here today for some reason. I don't know if there's something going on in the air or something. Uh, but here's what we have. Uh, Clean Spark without the huddle came in at under 1 million at 820,000. Core at 24,000. Stronghold at 15,000. Marathon at 1.47 million. Uh, Iris at half a million. Bitform is at three quarters of a million. Terrawolf at 800,000. And then Sphere was at 190,000. Bitdeer almost a million there as well. And you can see the rest as well, how that all coincides here. So when you take out the huddle position here, you can see hot 8 at 0.83, still a little bit better than what CleanSpark is getting at 0.82 on it, right? Uh, based on the amount of the mining. So a lot, like I said, the huddle position is definitely helping some of these miners out more than others as it looks, okay? And then we obviously score to everybody here. And here's how things look right now. We can see that CleanSpark, Core, Stronghold, and Marathon are definitely way undervalued. Uh, we got Iris Energy, BitFarms, Terrible, Sphere, and uh, Bitdeer are also quite a bit undervalued here in the number uh, second spot. And then Argo is in the third spot. Then we got Hive, Cypher, and Digi DigiHost. Based on these metrics here, look they're like they're pretty well valued. Uh, and then we got Bit Digital, DMG being slightly overvalued. And then Riot and Hut 8 definitely being overvalued. But Riot, we got to remember with them is they have a lot of power credits they get. They got like 30 some odd million here in August. So that's definitely helping them out on that end, which is not accounted here for those numbers as well, right? Because um, straight profit pretty much for them when they do use it in the monthly uh, credits when they when they can apply it, okay? Uh, but yeah, that's basically it here. I don't think there's anything else. Uh, yeah, here's just the table that I was using. So that's how everything's stacked up. Uh, but that's it. Let me know what you guys think of this. This is another one of those metrics that we take a look at, right? We look at multiple metrics here throughout the month and how they're performing monthly on this stuff, uh, other things as well. And we just go through it all and I got a sneeze or geez. Oh. Oh, I hate that. Okay. Uh, but like I was saying, we look at a bunch of stuff here. So as always, this can be available to my Patreon members. Thank you to everyone there. This will be available to them later on tonight. Um, that still is open to anybody that wants to join there. We have a great Discord private channel there as well. And that's still only $5 a month, which is, I mean, you can't beat that. You can't even get two coffees for that anymore. Um, so that's it. I'll leave it at that. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And we'll see what happens over the weekend. We'll look at, obviously, the Bitcoin miners over, over this past week, see how they did against Bitcoin. And we'll take a look at anything else we can possibly run metrics on. But other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I hope my sinuses go away or allergies, whatever this is, and I can actually record a decent video for you guys. But like I said, I'm sorry about that. Hope you guys have a great one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.